everybody. Back, uh, back to the archives um, after obviously a nice, uh, uh, nice uh, evening um, at the Heurigen. And so uh, this morning we will have a look back, as Sabine said, uh, on 10 years of, uh, of the uh, Viennese um, wiki and what happened and where it started from. So uh, what you can see here on the first slide is, um, yeah, what we started from, it's also, uh, in, you can also see it here on the table. Uh, so we started uh, from uh, an, uh, a printed encyclopedia. Um, it's, it, it is still called the Czajke. Czajke is the man, the name of the man. Of, you can see here, um, um, it's, uh, he's an, uh, he was an, he, he died in, uh, in 2006. Uh, he was uh, the director here at the archives and he was an historian and an archivist. Um, and um, so he initiated uh, this uh, historical encyclopedia of Vienna, which then was um, uh, edited from 1992 to 2004. The last volume uh, was just an update, update volume released in 2004. Um, <clears throat> as you see, 2004 uh, is a year when the Wikipedia already existed and uh, so I printed uh, a printed encyclopedia was a little bit outdated at this time. Uh, and so from uh, about uh, 2000 onwards, there were um, uh, very lot, was a lot of, um, uh, of, 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 of um, thinking going on how to, uh, to transfer this um, uh, printed encyclopedia into, a, uh, into, the in, uh, into the internet. And uh, then in 2012, uh, um, it became more concrete. So the, the archives, the library um, came into uh, communication or uh, into talks. We started talks with uh, the Department of Communication here in the city and the IT department, um, how we could probably do it. It was, of course, from the beginning on, it was clear we don't need just uh, uh, a scan of the of the so-called check in the internet, which of course would not have made any sense. So we would have uh, we wanted to work on uh, this uh, this en encyclopedia um, again because of course there was uh, no printed um, update. Uh, um, what, what, what was not uh, what, what, what we wanted to have, but we wanted to bring it to the internet. So what we started was uh, an OCR reading of the encyclopedia. Then uh, we filed a contract with the publisher of uh, the printed encyclopedia. And um, then in, in this whole process, we got into contact with Bernhard. And uh, Bernhard, uh, as he mentioned before, was at this time just sitting across the street. We didn't know him before, of course, but uh, um, it, it was at the at administration phase that uh, our director here met Bernhard and, uh, and she obviously told him uh, about um, our plans um, to do something, something with um, this uh, printed encyclopedia. And okay, Bernhard then said, okay, what you need is um, a semantic media wiki. So we wanted to, have to do something with wiki, but Bernhard convinced us to do a semantic media wiki. And um, so then um, it uh, really became, um, it came into being and uh, uh, Bernhard uh, then got, um, yeah, was the one to, to do the framework and it's established the framework uh, together with the, the IT of the city. And uh, in 2013, we had 15 students who built the articles, um, so the wiki articles from uh, the OCR uh, documents. Um, and we here in the archives and in the library had uh, a team of uh, editorial team of six members, um, and also a backup of three persons in the in the in the in the city museum. And what came out of uh, this process in the beginning was what you can see here. Uh, it was very grayish uh, because uh, in the beginning we had just uh, black and white uh, um, photos because we could not reuse uh, the, the pictures that were the, from, from, from the printed version because they were, we didn't have the rights. Uh, but um, so uh, in the beginning we started with, uh, I think it was 900, 900 um, photos from in between 1945 and 1965, photos where we have in the archives had the rights to depict them worldwide. So that was how it looked like, like in the beginning. Uh, so what was done was to to, uh, to take these um, these um, these original um, entries from the the printed uh, from the printed encyclopedia, you can see here it's very very uh, very abbreviated uh, and very uh, so they had a lot of of, of things to be done uh, by hand from the 15 students, but it ended up to be uh, in the in the wiki as you can see it here. 
Then in September 2014, we, have, we had got this, um, this, this, um, this event of going live, which of course then was also a little bit of a political show. In the middle you can see the, the councillor who is responsible in the city of Vienna for cultural affairs. And so he pressed, so to speak, the virtual button to, uh, to start the wiki uh, then in 2014. And from the beginning, from the be <coughs> sorry, from the beginning, um, the wiki was an open wiki, so citizens were encouraged to participate um, to every, everyone feeling as an expert on the, on, the, on the history of the city of Vienna was, um, um, was encouraged to participate uh, and to give his knowledge to, to this wiki. Then, only one, uh, one uh, month later, we had this Semantic Media Wiki convention here in Vienna. Some of you will recognize themselves uh, on, on the photo. Not too many, but uh, yeah, we were very happy to, that Bernhard uh, brought the conference uh, to Vienna and to the archives, and I think it was, uh, was a success. Uh, so what did we do from 2014 onwards? Um, just give you a, a little uh, glimpse on what we, uh, the projects we did. Um, so uh, as you can imagine, the, 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 the update volume from 2004 was then 10 year old and when we started the wiki, so we had to, um, to focus on the content first. Uh, so we had to rework the last 10 years of uh, what happened in the city. So we fo focused in the, in the beginning of, on um, the time between uh, 2004 and 2014, but also brought into the wiki um, the history of, um, of buildings, um, of uh, approximately 1,000 buildings, so it's mainly the, the old town of Vienna, so, um, that's, um, um, so, so histories of these buildings were brought into it. And we started uh, to form uh, something that, uh, that you can see a little uh, outside as well. So we, we, we started um, to form curated thematic clusters. In German, it's Themen and Schwerpunkte. So what do we understand? We, so we, twice a year, what we do here in the archives, something sometimes uh, three times a year, we focus on, on, on certain topics. Um, in a moment, it's cemeteries because uh, the, the Central Cemetery of Vienna turned 150 years uh, on the 1st of November. And so uh, we, uh, uh, we uh, looked into what we have got um, into the articles um, about cemeteries, what we have got in the wikis, produced new ones, reworked the other ones, the old ones, uh, then brought uh, into the wiki several, I think it, um, as far as was, uh, as I, um, um, I, as I remember, we had have uh, 2,800 digitized uh, images that we brought into our archival information system, and they are connected to the wiki now. Just about uh, about cemeteries and um, and material about the cemeteries um, that was then digitized for this thematic cluster um, when we went online, uh, when we went uh, when we um, established this um, curated thematic cluster. So. These, these clusters are, on the one hand, this article series and the, 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 the digital rep representations uh, being displayed in the wiki but connected to the archival information system. And that's what I, what, what I wanted to say. Um, outside, you can, we've got this showcase. There is this showcase. Of, you can see, you probably now know or get the, get the context why, why there is material about cemeteries outside because we've got this, this cluster about, um, this semantic cluster about uh, cemeteries in a moment. Um, so and in this room we've got uh, then while these uh, uh, curated thematic clusters um, are a topic here in the archives we've got the talks and um, so yeah that's how it how it happens and there's a social media uh, campaign uh, accompanying such clusters. Uh, but we did not only focus on, uh, of course, on uh, on the content, but uh, and this is of course uh, what uh, why we we need Bernhard, and we're very happy to still be in, uh, have uh, have uh, him as a team of uh, of, the, of the wiki and uh, work with him. We of, of course have um, um, we've improved the technical features of the wiki. So um, first film clips were embedded then in 2015. So we've got a thousand. Films that were produced by the city starting in 1908. Here, what you can see here is, uh, for example, the mayor of Vienna playing cards at the Adriatic at the, at the Adriatic coast in 1908. So, yeah, very funny, funny clips of one and a half or two minutes. So, citations of films that were embedded. Uh, then also, image annotations became possible. Unfortunately, the the first um, the first uh, picture that was annotated is um, from the. From, uh, from Viennese Nazis, but okay, um, that was the topic at this time. And uh, the third 
uh, thing is uh, here on, um, uh, on the other side is the, the map portal. So we see here in the, uh, in, the, in the reading room, but also I guess it's the same in, uh, in, in, in the library and also in the museums, there's a, there's a large demand for, for maps and, uh, all, uh, and, 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 um, and um, yeah, maps of all scales, so district maps as well as, uh, as street maps and, uh, and uh, city maps uh, from the centuries. Um, we've got, we start with uh, maps from, uh, uh, from the 16th century onwards we, 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 we have here in our archives. And so we built a, a, a maps portal, uh, which um, is the one thing. On the other hand, we've got also the, uh, the wikis from, was from the beginning, also connected to the GIS portal of the city. And the GIS portal has also a cultural uh, section, so to speak, where, uh, where, where um, geo-referenced uh, maps are, um, can, be, um, yeah, uh, can be seen and, uh, and, uh, and, and researched. <clears throat> In 2018, uh, um, we, got a, we had a relaunch of the wiki. Um, we were not very happy about this because we needed a new URL. Um, the background was that uh, the wiki had such a lot of content at this time that um, uh, that uh, the wiki was slowing down the official um, website of the city of Vienna, and so that's uh, that's why the wiki had to be decoupled from the from, from the official side of the city of Vienna. Uh, and but uh, in return we got uh, responsive skin, uh, which was um, which was was very important, I guess, at this time. And uh, what you can see also here, this uh, semantic or interactive map here. So in 2018. We also, um, um, yeah, we, we, we had, um, this was a, some sort of a, um, a, of a cooperation with the University of Vienna, so we have several co uh, cooperations with the universities in here in Vienna, but this uh, was a project coming from, from an institution, an institute of the University of Vienna. They did a database of, um, of all places, so we, they created a database that, um, and the content of this database um, was um, remembering all the places where uh, fascism uh, is remembered. Uh, and so there were 1,800 or 2,000 um, 2, articles came out of this, um, of this project and uh, Bernhard uh, then was able to uh, transfer this, uh, all this data from the database uh, into the wiki. And so the first interactive map then appeared and we've got a lot of interactive maps now in the wiki. So some other highlights, uh, for example, we've got, uh, uh, we've got um, for example, such a uh, Kaufkraftrechner to be translated into English, probably in purchasing power calculator. This calculator shows you, for example, if you've got a, a, a sum of, uh, of, of money in a document, in a historic document, um, that, um, uh, that is one guilder in 1440, how much labor would you get for this? Uh, um, so this is this is showing equivalence. Yeah, equivalence. How much equivalence of beer would you get? How much wine would you get? How much grain would you get? And how much labor force? I guess these are the uh, the equivalents that are shown. Um, and it starts in the Middle Ages and goes up uh, until now. Uh, and uh, a last uh, thing that we introduced, uh, um, we introduced um, 300 and 300,000 addresses from Vienna into the wiki, and now you can search for single addresses and look what the, what uh, what content we've got in the wiki. So. Um, um, you, you enter, for example, Google Gasse 14. So this is where we are now. When we, when you enter into this uh, this address into the wiki, then you get all the articles and all th that have got this coordinate or this address uh, coming with it. The article uh, will then be displayed. And so we're using more and more the semantic um, the, uh, the semantic um, um, data of uh, the wiki. And I think this is the point where I hand over uh, to Kati. And yeah. Um, yeah, good morning. My name is Katerina Praga. I'm uh, working at the Vienna City Library. Um, we are uh, working together with the archive on the wiki uh, for 10 years now, but I only came in uh, two years ago. Um, so uh, I'm trying to, to, um, to tell you what, what happened in, in the later phase. Um, starting um, with something that uh, drives both our institutions a lot, that's um, memory culture. And at the library, we um, are having a memor Memorial Day Index, which is for important people, uh, important events. Um, 
And we did that on paper because then the politicians have to be informed who needs to be celebrated this or that year. And uh, this um, was taken into the wiki in 2016, which made things a lot easier, as you can all can imagine. As a library, we are also uh, very uh, linked up with authority data, uh, especially the GND. I don't know how internationally known it is. You all know Wikidata, of course, but um, the GND is uh, norm data in the um, German-speaking world. And we uh, were keen on, on locking up uh, with the um, GND pools uh, because we, you can also get a lot of data in from there. And what was a very big success for us as a library uh, is that the GND in 2021 also recognized the Vienna History Wiki as a source um, for GND, and uh, Wikidata did that too. But Wikidata, it's, it's uh, probably more given. The GND is still kind of bureaucratical or has, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, needs to, to uh, be sure that the information you put there is valid. Um, from um, looking at the GND, we also um, got thinking. Um, Oh, oh, we came we, we came up with ideas with, with regard to the um, relations between the semantic entities. So uh, we had personal relations between um, like husband and wife, but they were not mapped systematically. But the uh, um, GND they had three categories of family, friends, and um, some other connection, and we uh, put it in the wiki and and systematized that um, and. Are also very um, happy that this is that that allows us to build networks or show networks um, in the wiki now. Um, it was a, uh, Bernard was very um, patient with us <laughs> when we were trying to find ways to deal with that, and also did research uh, in the German-speaking but international world how people map it. And you now have is married to or pa partnered with instead of husband and wife, because in in Austria there are three different time, uh, terms for um, wife actually, and uh, that's better now too. <laughs> Thank you. Um, then uh, I came in uh, in 2020, uh, 22 actually, but in 2020, we, all of you know that the pandemic hit, which is a good time and a bad time for a wiki. <laughs> um, it was ideal uh, to work on the image uh, metadata. And we really, um, that was, uh, you can all imagine that's not fun work if you have to uh, get that right, but it was a good time to to, to sit down and just do it. And um, we also came up uh, with the idea, um, because if you can't invite people to your houses, to your institutions, to look at the material in the exhibitions out there or at the Vienna City Library, which you're going to see today, um, but everybody started, I guess that was the same all around the world, everybody started walking outside <laughs> instead of going into houses. And we came up with wiki walks. I mean, people, have been using the wiki uh, on their mobile throughout Vienna all the time, looking up what was near them, how it came about this, that the street was named like this, etc. But in the wiki walks, we had a thematic, again, kind of thematic clustered walks around the women in Vienna, around the architecture of Adolf Loos, um, etc. Yeah, and uh, that's actually why I came in. Uh, I just came in at, at the period when um, we um, made portals for time periods. Most of us working on this wiki are historians, as you <laughs> probably um, can easily imagine also from the title of the wiki. Uh, historians like to make periodizations of time. In, um, in German, this portal has a nice... Um, name that is that is Zeitraum, which also um, alludes to the space. And we are kind of um, not only uh, grasping all these articles floating around on different periods on history into the periods, but also, and this is always what the wiki does, um, bringing them back into the space of Vienna. Um, yeah, and we were just aligning forces and one of us took uh, the medieval ages, other took the, the period around Vienna 1900, etc. Um, 
apart from the work on the personal relations, and that is still going on because we also want to align the organizations and the persons in a better way, and also then this, this will be a big project for the next years, I guess, uh, the addresses and the persons or putting people into the spaces that are already there in the wiki. Um, I did also one um, memory-driven portal because this year marks the uh, 150th per birthday of the Austrian satirist Karl Kraus. And that was kind of a, 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 my specialty topic. And I had... Um, edited a handbook on Kraus in 2018 that was where all the international research on Kraus um, fed in and there are people working on him in America, Leo Lansing or in, in Great Britain there was one of the uh, greatest re Kraus researchers was Edward Timms and there were of course many young people just coming into that um, Viennese modernism Kraus research and my idea was okay they had all written for the handbook now I'm trying to get them to write to build up a Kraus universe in the Vienna city wiki which is of course not so easy to do because um, researchers always like to write <laughs> something when their name is above or under the text, which is not the case in the wiki or not. Of course, you can see the versions and of course you can link the text back to the researchers, but it's not like you when you publish a paper in a peer-reviewed journal. But I was still uh, very glad that a lot of them uh, did try out the wiki or, or uh, um, allowed their content, allowed us to help them <laughs> put their content in there. And you, um, and that's something uh, we continue to do. I think Christoph, I don't, you didn't mention the first project, but there are, since uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, some years back, there are projects with research, also trying to get the newest research on um, into the wiki and the cross portal was another go at that. Yes, and this is where Bernhard tells you uh, the hard work behind the scenes where we are doing the fun content stuff. <laughs> yes, um, yeah, as, as has been mentioned before, um, uh, when I, I heard about the idea, uh, I immediately thought, well, this is the ideal use case, not only for Semantic Media Wiki, but for Media Wiki in general. The, the IT department of the city of Vienna uh, had and still has um, WordPress as their default content management system. So they suggested yeah, we could put this into WordPress, which you probably can do. But, you know, I, I really said, you know, Media Wiki was just made for online encyclopedia. So you have to do this. Um, uh, with with MediaWiki, it's open source um, um, also. So um, and uh, I was able to to convince also that we that we need semantics for this because uh, this is actually really what semantic MediaWiki was exactly written for this purpose. Uh, it never happened in Wikipedia uh, due to probably mostly performance uh, reasons. Um, Wikipedia is another uh, another area, um, uh, but. Um, for a wiki in this size, Semantic Media Wiki is actually really the, the perfect choice, especially um, with this internal querying capability. So even if we would do this now, we would, I would still argue uh, we, we, you would have to do this with Semantic Media Wiki. Uh, with Wikibase, I don't know. I mean, you would have to, you, you would have to have the Wikibase instance with where you would annotate the, the data. But how 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 can you have this uh, encyclopedic article? So you would have really to duplicate the existing ecosystem of of uh, Wikipedia again, which is would be very complex. So I think this is really uh, uh, the perfect use case. Um, we have RDF dumps, so to all of the researchers out there, um, you get, uh, I think once a week there is an, a complete RDF dump, so you can analyze it, uh, put it in your, in your triple store. Uh, we don't have a, a triple store yet. Um, we also uh, have open data here, here this is the Austrian uh, open data portal, so uh, part of the data is also automatically uh, made available uh, for uh, free reuse. Um, as uh, Kati uh, mentioned, we make, make heavy use of other external vocabularies. Uh, interestingly enough, not so much uh, about uh, specialized f f uh, vocabularies that exist in the library uh, scene or, or, or in the uh, historical context, but schema.org. This is an ongoing discussion, I think, in the semantic web community. Um, 
uh, there is an, an article out, um, uh, do we actually need uh, other uh, vocabularies than, than uh, uh, schema.org? I, I do believe we, we, we need that, but uh, th there are two reasons why, why we chose this. One is schema.org has a real market power. So um, uh, it is beneficiary to, to your website if you use the schema.org vocabulary. So that uh, is for every public web website a, a good argument. But uh, in this case, actually, the IT department told us, you know, um, they are building a new, um, uh, a new map solution. And they said, uh, we want to incorporate uh, the historical facts also uh, in this new solution. Please use schema.org because this is what we what we're using anyway. So it was a, uh, the main argument was uh, it, it is a, a request from the from the IT department. The IT department is hosting this wiki, um, so I don't have access to the productive system. Um, I have access to to test systems, and and uh, I do work on the productive uh, uh, wiki, but on the front end, as we all know. So I don't have uh, access to the to the back end. Um, you should also know um, there are. I think once a year, uh, regular uh, external security audits. So Semantic Media Wiki and this whole stack that we use, uh, all those extensions are uh, uh, people in the in the German uh, speaking community know what TÜV is. Um, uh, so sometimes TÜV Austria does this, sometimes also other external companies. So they do penetration tests and things like that. So and uh, we also uh, were able to. Uh, identify some some things but uh, basically you know this is uh, something that is uh, expensive to do for with external companies but the city of Vienna uh, that's the that's the big advantage if you have a, 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 a very reliable hosting solution that they do things like this also we we having pro problems sometimes with denial of service attacks uh, or with uh, wild going bots that uh, get uh, lost in the wiki and the city of uh, the IT department takes care of this as well, which is not an easy task. So yeah, uh, thank you also to the uh, IT. Um, over, the, over the 10 years, we also uh, contributed to the open source ecosystem, uh, obviously. So um, the city of Vienna funded several improvements to uh, semantic result formats, especially the filtered formats, uh, data tables format, because this is something that uh, uh, we want to use or are already using. Um, also some improvements to SMW core, uh, some contributions to page forms. So for that also, um, Alexander Gesin IT, uh, so from Gesin IT was, was contracted. We also contracted professional wiki uh, at, at one point for the extension modern timeline, you, you can see here. This was done by uh, uh, members of the community. Um, we, we have done some MediaWiki uh, widgets, like the video widget and, and uh, a timeline widget also, and a juxtapose widget that, that, where you can slide uh, um, you know, between images. Um, yeah, we are, we are, of course, doing bug uh, reports and, and things like that of, of uh, issues that arise uh, in the Vienna History Wiki. Um, yeah. Then um, uh, you can find over there in the in the goodies section my paper that I, uh, I wrote on uh, the Vienna History Wiki, where this is all uh, explained in much more detail. Um, this is, these are the visits per month, uh, and you can see the the change of the URL really made some uh, ha had some impact, and then they also introduced uh, uh, new measurements. So they basically changed the log file analysis from this little bit outdated webalizer thing to site improve. So this is probably the more reliable data now. Um, so, but you can see, um, yeah, the, the, the impact of this. So it's a, it's a very heavily used site, I would say. Um, and uh, we had uh, two uh, surveys, uh, user surveys, um, uh, where we also asked people uh, how, how they like it and, and uh, if they are considering uh, contributing to it and things like that. And um, generally, we get very positive feedback, I would say. So these are uh, maybe only two, uh, two things that you see. Uh, wiki editors, so uh, from, the, from, the, from the public, are usually 
old and male, which uh, I heard corresponds uh, exactly with uh, people who come here to, to, the, to the city archive to get some information from the archive. Um, so these are very often uh, retired persons that are interested in the history of, of, of uh, Vienna and for reasons unknown to me, uh, most are male. Um, and we also ask them, um, so what uh, user type are you? And the interesting thing is that 70% say we are private persons, so citizens who are just interested in, in, the, in the history and have something to, to add or just look something up. Yeah? So we, are, we also have students, we have uh, researchers, historians, Wikipedia authors also interested, interesting. Uh, there are some people, as uh, Christoph mentioned, that are contracted by the city of Vienna, students who, who, who will uh, do uh, editing tasks uh, and, and also the employees of the city administration. So there are several in the uh, editorial team that do this on a more, more or less daily basis. Yeah. So this was the last survey that we did. Yeah, and uh, in the paper, I'm, all, uh, I'm also uh, describing the knowledge graph analysis. So my paper argues that basically what we have, we have a knowledge graph, even if we don't have a triple store. Or, uh, so there is a knowledge graph that is built because we have semantic media wiki, we have an RDF representation of this knowledge graph. Uh, and you can see here the, the, the categories that we have. Um, and uh, the interesting thing is um, the comparison, uh, how many articles were in the original uh, Chaike encyclopedia. And so what is the growth rate, uh, so to say? So this is a kind of interesting. So you have people, you have the topographic objects that would be streets and, and, uh, um, uh, uh, and other, other objects uh, in, the, in the geographic sphere. You have structures, so buildings. Um, you have organizations, events, the, the memorials, so the, the, this uh, remembering culture. Then you have the maps from the, from the map portal. Uh, they, they were not existing in Chaike at all. You have terms, so Viennese slang terms, for example, are explained. Uh, and you have a other category with articles that do not really fit into, into any other uh, of, of, those, uh, of those articles. And, and here you can see the, the depth of the knowledge graph, uh, if you wish. So it's um, uh, not, very, um, not very deep, but you can also see the, the, the size visualized here. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is the, the number of subcategories. You can see this probably changed uh, in the meantime because we are making more use also of subcategories. We didn't have this uh, uh, first, but uh, it, it, it makes perfect sense in, in some categories to have, to have subcategories. For, for persons, that's a little bit hard because you know what would be the subcategory? Uh, professions is, is not a good subcategory, male and female, okay. Um, but for, for other uh, buildings or churches, cemeteries, so things like this are, are nice subcategories um, and uh, it makes sense to structure it like this. Yes, so this, uh, so you have a, a printout here, it's, it's, um, this, that was my first part of, the, of my PhD, so uh, uh, you, can, you can look it up, it's open access. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, we are, I think, looking forward to the next, next 10 years. I don't know uh, where it will lead us. Uh, I just want to close by um, uh, telling you that uh, it's really uh, very, um, uh, very fun and, and productive and interesting to work with historians and librarians. So thank you for this. It's really, it's really a really fascinating project. Um, it's my favorite wiki because it's so it's so cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have it in English, so maybe in ten years we will have that. I don't know. <laughs> maybe with the use of AI that could be done. So uh, because up to now it was like you know uh, thousands of articles. Who is going to write them in English, right? But uh, maybe this is something that AI can help us with. We will see. So uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot. Um, if you have any questions, I think we're all uh, here to, to answer them. And uh, yeah, thank you for your uh, attention. <laughs>
Soros, who asked whether they were Vienna residents or not. Uh, would that have been a sensible question? It would have been, yes, <laughs> but we didn't ask it. Yeah, right. it's interesting. Uh, uh, by the way, what, what, what I can mention here is uh, maybe something also that is uh, relevant for other large wikis or large websites. There, is, there are indeed discussions of uh, uh, geo-controlling. So um, uh, the IT department says, well, um, we might uh, consider restricting access to the Vienna History Wiki for Austrian internet users. Um, because, you know, of some maybe bots that come from wherever. Um, uh, and, of course, the argument can only be it is internationally relevant and we have a lot of expats. Um, uh, so it would actually be, have been very good to ask this, uh, how many people are not from, from Vienna living abroad but still editing because they're interested in the history of the city. So, um, yeah, and this, this Jew control thing, uh, I, I hope it will never happen because that would be very bad, but, it, but it's, it's, uh, it's decided. It's, it yesterday is, I got an email, it's ah. decided, and we're not accessible from everywhere, but the, it's what? mostly countries like uh, oh. Russia, Afghanistan, and okay. Okay, too many, uh, Russia, okay, but uh, probably not too many uh, expats are working on the history of Vienna, sitting in, in, in Pakistan. And so this on. is for editing, not viewing. No, <laughs> view, viewing. 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 Yes. <laughs> Yes, well, what about the United States? The United States, uh, it's accessible. We're okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, it's, uh, so it's defined more or less by uh, saying, uh, saying where the European Union has uh, some sorts of, uh, of I'm sorry. Um, so I think I, saw, I can show you the list. I got this email yesterday, but it's a, it's a list um, uh, of countries uh, where the U European Union has uh, some sort of uh, restrictions uh, on these countries. and. Uh, so it's uh, all the Western countries, of course, are not. Um, um, so the wiki is accessible in, in, in all the Western countries, um, but uh, it's it's a list of fifteen countries or so. I was going to ask a similar question, but have you had any issues with vandalism? You know, even if you were authenticating or verifying users. Uh, no, we didn't have to. Just in the beginning, we had one um, one one person. Um, uh, registering as cat lady, and she was uh, she, she just uploaded uh, uh, um, pictures of cats, but that was the only <laughs> thing. <laughs> uh, and then we then was it was fun because uh, Bernhard then um, uh, 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 then uh, did something which uh, would have been totally normal to just uh, uh, she was not allowed to, to do anything. But then everybody else, uh, everyone else was also um, was also banned, and uh, nobody could uh, could work on the wiki. But we fixed this. It was just in in, the, in September two thousand and fourteen. But this was the only I think. Or is, is there any other? Yeah. I, I have no. Yeah, what, what I can add here, technically, uh, we are using the uh, approved refs uh, extension, so uh, you can edit uh, immediately, but uh, every edit will not be immediately visible for, for everyone. I mean, you can go to the link, but the editorial team has to approve the page, and then it will be yeah. visible. So that's also a mechanism that we introduced, yeah. And then, just one more question that uh, might be a bit philosophical, but uh, you, you can block you know, bots that are large language models from accessing your site. Um, using like a Cloudflare tool, but would you rather have a large language model index your site and then maybe not visit your site and it's provided an answer? Do you care? Is that a good thing? Or do you consider that you want site traffic? Well, uh, I would not consider this relevant for site traffic, but uh, I would consider it very relevant. Please, uh, large language models, come and crawl these sites because they are scholarly. It's, it's a it's a scholarly wiki, so it's a uh, it's checked by an editorial team, so uh, it's better that, that AI models crawl, crawl this information than any other sources because it's really checked. So uh, they should be able to crawl it because if, we, if we, uh, we block them all out, they crawl something else and the, the AI gets, gets uh, stupider, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is actually uh, something I also, I, I, I am uh, talking a lot to public sector institutions and I, I keep telling them, please in your, in your uh, imprint, uh, have an open license. 
because uh, for uh, official websites of ministries of, of public organizations you want this content to be reused because it's your official content there's there, there should not not be a copyright on this because i mean it's the official news or, or the official information of, of of public authorities and uh, you know there, there are legal disputes with large language models providers with with uh, editorial uh, uh, parts I can understand that but the public sector information should be free for, for everyone and also for the AI models please let them crawl your, your website so uh, yeah mm -hmm.